and I don't care. Ah, what's happening to me? Who am I? What have you done with my Amelia? I don't know. I don't know where I am. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I've gone crazy. Hello there. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is really just about giggles. <laughs> Not that I ever really take myself too seriously over here in this little corner of handbag heaven, because let's be honest, we're talking about handbags. But today's video, yeah, I'm giggling already. These, I don't even know where some of this has come from. I, it, oh, here I was, perfectly minding my own business, fixated on a few certain types of bags, when all of a sudden these outsiders have come in and now I'm a bit obsessed with them and I keep, I keep lusting after these bags and I keep thinking about them and I keep visiting them on the internet and I keep, uh, I keep think, spending, thinking about, can't even speak, I'm not tongue tied about it all. I keep thinking about spending more money and I don't need to spend more money on handbags. There are plenty of handbags and I'm going to Paris soon and I really don't need to be obsessing with other certain bags on Tinternet, but there you go. So I thought it would be fun. I hadn't even planned to film today, but I thought it would be fun to sit down with you guys and go through the nine bags that I am currently obsessing over. Ah, are these all gonna come into my collection? I really, really hope not, because I could be divorced and my bank manager would be most, most unhappy. I was going to say very, and then I went for most, so it turned out the most, most unhappy. It would be excessive, as if it's not already excessive back there. But I just, these these are in my mind and I can't stop thinking about them. So the first one, and it is to blame for that. To blame, can't even speak. What is to blame for it is that Dublin vlog, which I will link up above. And we went to Dublin and I really wanted to see the new Dior that's opened in Brown Thomas and I will put it in here somewhere. I am obsessed, obsessed with that darned, red, deep red saddlebag with the guitar strap. I can't, I can't forget, I can't get it out of my mind. I keep going back on my camera roll and looking at the video of it and looking at me trying it on and looking at it online. I'm obsessed. <sighs> I know that a lot of people will be thinking, no, not the saddlebag, it's so dated, it's so out of style. I don't care. I don't pretend, I don't really follow trends. I don't really care if things are in trend, not in trend, up to date, out of style. I genuinely buy what I love. I buy what I really like, what I love, which I can't forget about. And I'm really loving that saddlebag. Um, is it ha at its peak of its ha popularity? No, it's probably not. But again, I really, really don't care. But since we went and tried it on, now I had always been intrigued about the saddlebag. It was always one of those bags that I wanted to see in person. I wanted to try on. I wanted to see what I thought of. But I'm obsessed and I just, mm. yeah, it's on my mind a lot with the guitar strap. I know the guitar strap adds a lot of money to it. It's a bit like the Gabrielle up there has a thick Chanel strap on it and that added a lot of money to it. The guitar strap does the same. The guitar strap for the saddlebag doesn't really sit comfortably on me crossbody. It would still be a little bit high and I don't care. Ah, what's happening to me? Who am I? What have you done with my Amelia? I don't know. I don't know where I am. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I've gone crazy. I normally, a bag at that price and a bag that is quite casual like this one, I don't think I'll wear crossbody, but I could. But the saddlebag is a certain type of look and it would go with a certain type of look in my wardrobe. And I would like the option of wearing it crossbody, but I'm still thinking about spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds on an extra strap that doesn't go crossbody. What has happened to me? I don't, I don't know, but I'm obsessed. I'm absolutely obsessed. I can't keep, I can't stop thinking about it. I keep picturing it and I keep going to visit it in my mind. And breathe. <laughs> Do you see the level of, of obsession that's coming out? I can't even, I'm talking all over myself. That is number one. Number two, hmm. also from that Dublin vlog, vlog, can't speak, also from that Dublin vlog, and this one really, really took me by surprise. I was never really a lover of the Louis Vuitton Pont Neuf bag. It's a bag that I thought that I didn't really want and I didn't think that I would buy. But then I tried on this blue, would it be periwinkle blue? Would it be petrol type blue? I will put it in. 
this blue version, the new version of it, I think it's called the Supple. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it in French because you'd all just laugh. <laughs> the Point Neuf Supple bag, I think it's called, and it has the blue strap with the red embroidery on it. It's an embroidered strap with the red on it. And I love it. And I, I really, really love it. And I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. I previously had the Vivian bag, which is now discontinued, and mine was the tricolour version, and I adored that bag. I don't even have a picture. It was pre Instagram for me, pre lots of things. I don't I don't think I have a picture. If I can find any sort of picture, I'll put it in. But I loved that bag. I wore that bag to death and I had to eventually give in to the fact that the glazing was defective. Even whenever they were notifying people about the glazing issues, I wouldn't give that bag back because I loved it that much. But it got to the point that it would stick on my clothes and stick on the desk and stick on the inside of my never full if I threw it in and was carrying it. And eventually it had to go back. But unfortunately it was discontinued and it couldn't be replaced with the same bag. This version of the Point Neuf gives me the same type of vibes and the same type of feel. And I loved using that bag and I can't get this bag out of my head. And... That's number two. Number three, sticking with Louis Vuitton. We all know that I have for a very long time had the Petite Mal on my wish list. I have been lusting after the Petite Mal for so, so long. So the Petite Mal is on this list, but that will come as no surprise. And these are meant to be bags I haven't really talked about, although there's, yeah. The one that is catching me by surprise is the Louis Vuitton Petite Mal from the Cruise Collection. Now there is a black and white version with a red chunky chain which is cool. It is cool. But the one that I keep thinking about is the grey version, which I'll put a picture in. It's the grey version with the um, new print on it that is coming out in a lot of bags and it has the pink on the side of it. And I think it's fab. And Tyler, if he's watching this, actually sent it to me and went, oh, this bag's for you. And I was like, stop. But yes, 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 it is. I really love that bag. And as much as I always said, when I eventually add a petite mal, it will be the classic in the monogram because it's such a classic bag. Oh, the pink and the grey is just floating about in there and doing some damage. Uh, yeah. Number four, I think I'm on number four, is the new collection that just got released of the Fendi Peekaboo. And it is specifically the orangey version. Now it's called red and I'll put the picture in. It's called red, but it looks to me as if it's quite orange. In fact, let's just talk Fendi. Deal will be delighted. Deal, this is your fault. The, <laughs> the new collection that Fendi just came out with have some fabulous, fabulous colours so I better lump together number four and five if that's what we're on because there's a few here. There is the orangey red version of the peekaboo which I think is fabulous. It also can be bought with the strap which is a sort of neutral colour but then it has the orangey red embroidery on it and it looks fabulous with those bags. I love the guitar strap look. I love that thick chunky strap. It is right up my street. Made for me marketer's dream. Love it. So it's the peekaboo with the strap and also with the mini peekaboo on it. It's the little um, micro bag that looks a bit like a charm hanging from it and they have it in the orangey neutral colour as well. Fabulous. That is not, this is going to be more than four and five because there's a few of these Fendi bags on my mind at the minute. That's the first one. Second one, lots of you guys have sent me and it is the new baguette that is out in... Oh, this colour, my colour. <laughs> I should trademark this colour. <laughs> no, you didn't come up with it. That wouldn't make sense. You just know what I mean. This colour, there is a peekaboo in this colour, which I think maybe three or four of you have sent me. Yeah, I know, I'm predictable. But I absolutely love it. It's the colour and it's the Fendi Zucca print. Like you can see the little um, Montrezure bag peeking up there. And I really love the, Fe the Fendi Zucca print. It has that on it. It's in this colour. It's fab. It's beautiful. Yes, 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 it's on my mind. Coming after that is also the orangey red colour that we were talking about and this colour in the baguette. So we've talked about the baguette in this one. That orangey red colour also comes in the baguette and I love that colour, that corally orange. It's fab. I know, I know. Excited much. 
I did talk previously about the classic flap in the orange colour. I'm really taking a hankering for another orange bag, bright orange bag, coral orange bag. The classic flap so expensive now for bright orange. I still use my Teddy Blake orange bag quite a bit so I'm looking at the Fendi version. I do like the baguette in that colour and also from Fendi and this was meant to be number five but we've added a few in as we started talking. This one I'm obsessed with. I keep going to visit this. I have a screenshot of this on my phone and I keep going back into my photos and looking at it. Uh -huh. It, uh, you know, so I've got loads of time to do things like that, but, but <laughs> it's there. And it is this Fendi baguette in the multicolor embroidery. And I think it's fabulous. I think it's just so, so fabulous. I can't, this is another one that I can't get out of my mind. I'm really, really tempted by this. Th this group of Fendi bags, I know that there's about four that I've mentioned but called it four and five because that makes sense. <laughs> but <laughs> of these four Fendi bags, mm, I'm quite obsessed. I keep going back to visit them <laughs> in my mind, on my phone, on the website. <sighs> yeah, watch this space. Number six, am I on number six? Number six is the Chanel 19 in this colour. And I talked about this in my magenta video that was the tag from Megan's tag. Ooh, Candice from Lux and Lipstick has it in this colour and I just love it. I just love it. I have two of the 19s. You can see the houndstooth peeking out down there at the bottom. The 19 is a bag that I find very, very wearable. I re It's still very, very expensive, but I really, really love it. It's a bag that I find easy to wear. And in this color, I just think it would be fab. And I'm still conflicted. And I know I had conflicting emotions in that video. And I got great advice from you guys in the comments. And a lot of it made sense. And I'm still really, really conflicted. It's still a bag that I can't say that I've given up on. <laughs> It's still floating about in the crazy in there with all, like, where does it stop? Look at all these bags that I'm talking to you about nine more I'm obsessed with. Mm. Anyway, that's number six. What's number seven? Number seven I have talked to you about before and I'm still obsessed with and it's the mini Kelly. I, I am, I'm obsessed. Now, I was at a very, very high level of obsession and I used to stock it. I've calmed down slightly because realistically, this is not a bag that I can just go and buy. I can't walk into an but or boutique and just buy it and I don't have the profile and I am not, not in a position to spend, I think it's about £20,000 sterling to get one on the pre-loved market. I'm just not in the position to do that. So it's not going to happen, but it's a bag that I still have a real, oh, I just think it's fabulous in the mini size. I'm still holding this, by the way. I just, I just think it's great. And I just, it's a bag that can't get out of my mind. So that has to go in at number seven and number eight Am I on eight or nine? Number eight is the Birkin in the Rose Papri colour and I'll put the picture in from Tamara's page and it's this one specifically in the Birkin 25 that I just think is fabulous. I never really before thought that I would be a Birkin lover because I thought I was tied to a strap but I now realise that not all of my bags need to do the same thing and it's okay to have some bags and I think that really came from the mini capucines because I wear both of those mainly handheld I used to think that I wouldn't really have a need to buy a handheld bag because I always wanted them to be crossbody, but that has shown me that actually I use those bags a lot. And the Birkin 25 is definitely, definitely in there in that rose purpure colour. I just think it's fabulous. In fact, a mini Kelly or a Birkin in any bright colour. Mm, yeah, me likey. And number nine, the last bag that I've become slightly obsessed with. Now, this one I would really need to see in person. I'm not saying obsessed with this bag to order and buy. I would be tempted to order and see, but being completely upfront with you that I'm really not sure about it. And this one I think will be a will split opinion because I watched Candace's review of the upcoming Louis Vuitton bags and this was one of the bags that Candace was like, no. No, and she loves colour as much as I do. And it is the Louis Vuitton Twist Pochette. Now, I know she doesn't like the twist bag. I love the twist bag. But I just think this is this is intriguing. This bag is intriguing to me with all of those colours. I actually sent it to Anita, who is my essay in Dublin, and said, ooh, all the colours. And it's it's floating about in there. And it just gives me the impression of being crossbody, quite easy to wear. It's a mix match of squares of colours. It might be too much, it might, well, too much. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a joke, isn't it? Too much, 
too much. I'm looking around me at some of the bags and the colours and the prints and listening to myself saying that bag might be too much. Aha. Uh -huh. But <laughs> makes sense in my mind. It might be, it might just cross the line of not being funky, cool type of brightly coloured. It might be be too, it might just not be right. I don't even know if I can get the words. I don't think gaudy is the right word because some of these bags could be. I, I just don't know. I don't know. But it is since I saw it on the Louis Vuitton website, which I obviously still stock. I just, I keep going to visit and it's it's got this colour in it, which is a good start. It's multicoloured. Oh, I know it's a bit similar to this, but it just, I like the twist lock. Yeah, it's it's floating about in this craziness in here. And it's another bag that's really intriguing me at the minute. So that absolute craziness was an overview of the nine bags at the minute that I am really, really intrigued by, that I can't get out of my mind, that I keep going back to, that I keep obsessing over and thinking about. Yeah, I hope this was fun. I hope you can laugh at my mess in my brain. Um, but they're there and yeah, I, oh, stop. I know, I know. Yeah. Let me know what you think. Let me know which ones you think. Absolutely know which ones you think. Yeah, maybe have a look at that or which ones you're just going, I give up with you, girl. I, I give up with myself sometimes. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching me. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.